If we want to achieve a rapid deployment of universal connectivity, and also, uh, in some senses, to respect the environment, uh, satellite technology is the only solution. The proposal from ISPASAT is, therefore, an ideal one, because it includes uh, access to space technology of the of the latest um, the latest uh, kind and the highest performance we will uh, use the highest performance uh, satellite technology existing we also include the ground infrastructure that will be uh, located as needed within the caricom um, area to ensure data integrity in all cases for example uh, the obviously important defense communications elections uh, the transmission of elections data if we wouldn't if we're not sure about our elections where's our democracy and as the ambassador has already mentioned also the the banking the all important banking data so um, this is one of the um, one of the characteristics of the proposal that we're making and the offer uh, we offer also long-term commitment and uh, and service agreements uh, that uh, that will be transparent to the government. We offer also a flexible dimension. This is exactly the idea of the kickoff today. We will discuss at technical level what is the dimension of the communication that uh, the, that the CTU and the CARICOM governments require more or less and in one way or the other uh, in order to fulfill all the, all the needs that they have. Through this agreement, ISPASAT has pledged to expand satellite connectivity across CARICOM member states, marking a pivotal step towards closing the digital gap and ensuring that all Caribbean citizens, regardless of location, have access to the opportunities of the digital age. Both HISPASAT and the CTU share a vision of leveraging satellite technology to empower communities, enhance economic opportunities, and foster greater digital inclusion across the region. The launch of Project Condosat Carisat builds upon these commitments, strengthening our collective efforts to create a more connected and technologically advanced Caribbean. As we embark on this journey, Guyana stands ready to engage in meaningful partnerships that drive progress and uplift communities through innovation and connectivity. This technology will really allow Guyana and CARICOM to participate in satellite technology, uh, sort of the latest state of the art that is there. And what I would like to stress is that this will provide them with sovereignty of your own digital connection. And we all know that in this convulsive times, that has become more important than ever. Sovereign satellite, and you've heard this term, sovereign satellite. Um, these provide countries with several key advantages. Um, from Spanning from security, economic and strategic domains. Certainly the issue of enhanced national security, uh, not having to rely on private um, commercial agreements for crit critical matters of national security. It gives a country and it gives CARICOM independence and sovereignty. Um, it increases our sovereignty and in in independence. It gives us control of our data and it gives us strategic autonomy. It will certainly provide us with improved communication infrastructure, so it will supplement what we have now in terms of submarine cables and terrestrial fiber that provide us with high-speed internet connectivity. <coughs> These applications, as I mentioned, along with national security, provide us with communications in the aftermath of a natural disaster.